Microsoft Power Toys is a set of system utilities that will make you feel like you're using a better version of Windows. Here's a quick preview of the utilities it puts at your disposal. Why the folks at Redmond refuse to make at least some of these utilities available natively in Windows is beyond me. However, the good thing is that you can make them available to yourself through a quick download that is completely free. And once you do, I guarantee you'll soon have your own little set of favorites that you just won't be able to live without. Here are some that I personally find particularly useful or just cool. Now the first one I want to talk about falls into the cool category because admittedly, I still haven't found a specific use case for it, at least not for me. But I'm sure that plenty of you guys will prove to be much more enlightened than I am and let me know where this could be applied in the comments. In any case, the utility I'm talking about is called Crop and Lock, and as stated by its brief description, it basically allows you to crop a current application into a smaller window or just create a thumbnail. To execute the first mode, you simply select a window, hit the assigned keyboard shortcut, which in this case is Windows Control Shift R, and then select the part of the window that you wish to focus on. Now this particular mode is interactive, meaning that you can scroll up and down and click on any available buttons or icons, However, you cannot resize the selection by dragging its edges. To make adjustments, you need to exit out of it, which by the way takes you back to the original window, and then make a new selection from scratch. The second mode is a bit different. Instead of creating an interactive cropped window, this one simply creates a thumbnail that acts as a sort of a live feed of the selected area that updates in real time. In contrast to the cropped window mode, the active thumbnail can be resized and it's automatically assigned an always on top status. It's activated in the same way as the previous mode, with the only difference being in the keyboard shortcut. Now if by any chance you find these shortcuts to be a bit clunky or unnatural, you can easily change them in the utility settings. And that applies not only for crop and lock, but every other utility that is included in the set as well. While we're at settings, most of the Power Toys utilities are enabled by default. For the few that are not, you can always enable them through their respective settings within the Power Toys main UI or via the system tray menu. Always on top is a Power Toys utility that allows you to pin a window so that it's always on the top of the window stack, even when you change your focus by selecting or opening another window. To pin a window to the top, you simply select it and press the assigned keyboard shortcut, which in this case is Windows Control T, and to unpin it, you do the exact same thing. Keep in mind that the always on top utility settings give you a number of different configuration options, including the ability to customize the window border or get rid of it altogether. Ever been in a situation where you wanted to delete, move, or modify a particular file, only to be blocked by the operating system because the file in question was apparently being used? It can be a particularly annoying situation, especially if you're limited with time and you just can't seem to figure out what the heck is even using the file. File Locksmith is a utility that is specifically designed to help you eliminate that conundrum with no more than a few clicks. Here's how it works. You right-click on the problematic file, click Show More Options, and then select What's Using This File. That will open up a window containing a list of processes that are using the file in question, which you can easily discard by selecting End Process. If you use a simplistic wallpaper on a single monitor, it probably doesn't take you more than a few seconds to locate your mouse pointer, which is not exactly something to brag about. I mean, the ability to quickly locate a pointer is not really a skill you'd put on your resume, unless you can quickly find it on a wallpaper like this. Before I show you how you can use Power Toys to do this effortlessly, let's play a little game. Pause the video and see if you can find the real pointer on this desktop, and I'll give you the correct location at the end of the video. Find My Mouse is a utility that allows you to focus the pointer by quickly pressing the left control key twice. It can also be configured to activate when you shake the mouse, and the spotlight behavior and appearance can be customized in various different ways. So for example, you can change the spotlight and background color, overlay opacity, and even things like the animation duration and zoom factor. The mouse jump option, on the other hand, gets things done a bit differently. Instead of pinpointing the exact location of the pointer, it allows you to sort of teleport it wherever you want. To do this, you simply use the assigned shortcut, which in this case is Windows Shift D, click anywhere on the thumbnail of your screen, and the pointer will appear in the exact location you specified. In addition, mouse utilities also give you the ability to highlight clicks, as well as the option of displaying crosshairs centered around the pointer. 
The Peak Utility allows you to view previews for a variety of different file types. To view a preview, all you have to do is select a file folder or application and hit control space on the keyboard. In order to close it, you simply hit the X button on the top right corner, but you can also configure the utility to automatically close the preview as soon as you click on something else. After playing around with it for a while, I found that it mostly works the way it's supposed to, however, it does tend to bug out from time to time, so that's definitely something to be aware of. One of the coolest features on iPhones and Android devices is the ability to extract text directly from images. With the PowerToys Text Extractor utility, you can do the same thing on your PC. The way it works is simple. You open up an image that contains text, press the assigned shortcut, which by default is Windows Shift T, and then just select the text you wish to transcribe. That'll save the selected text to the clipboard, and from there, you can paste it into a document, an email, editing app, etc. One thing to keep in mind is that this utility uses optical character recognition to read text, so it will only work with languages for which you have the OCR pack installed. Also, sometimes it might not work perfectly, so it's a good idea to always do a quick proofread, just in case. Paste as plain text is another text-related utility that enables you to paste text from the clipboard without formatting. The default shortcut works pretty well in my opinion, and it's particularly useful because it gives you a universal key combination for pretty much any application. So for example, to paste plain text in Google Docs, you typically have to press Control shift v but since I have this utility enabled, I can also do it by pressing Windows Control alt v Now in this particular case, the Google Docs shortcut is simpler, but since memorizing different shortcuts for a bunch of different apps can be tedious, it's nice to have one that works in pretty much every application. Quick Accent is a utility that offers a convenient way of typing accented characters. So let's say you're Elon Musk and you need to type your kid's name, but your keyboard doesn't have support for the Ash character. All you do is hold down the A key and then quickly tap the spacebar, and then you can cycle through the displayed characters either by continuously tapping space or by using the arrow keys. Voila! Power Rename is a utility that allows you to perform batch renaming in a manner that is far more efficient than anything Windows has to offer natively. Here's how it works. You select the files or folders that you wish to rename, right-click, and select Power Rename. When the Power Rename window pops up, you make sure that Use Regular Expressions is selected, and then type dot asterisk in the search bar in order to replace the existing names in their entirety. You then enter the new name you wish to assign in the Replace box, activate the Enumeration option, and finally click Apply. Of course, this method doesn't really bring all that much to the table because you already have the option of achieving the same outcome the old-fashioned way. What you really want to know is how to rename portions of existing names or insert additions. To rename a portion of the existing names, you type in the set of characters that you wish to replace and then swap them with something new or just have them removed by leaving the replace box empty. On the other hand, if you wish to insert an addition, you type in the entirety of the existing name into the search box, copy that same string of characters and paste it into the replace box, and then simply insert the addition from there. Now, there may be another more efficient way of doing this, but from my own experience, this method does seem to work just fine. The final utility I want to talk about in this video is called Awake. As stated by its brief description, it's designed to keep your PC awake on demand without having to manage the system power settings. When enabled, an Awake icon is placed into the tray area for quick access. Clicking on the icon will reveal a simple context menu where you can choose the mode that best suits your current use case. But that's it for me. Of course, there are a number of other utilities, but I'll let you figure those out for yourself. If you found this video interesting, please consider supporting me by subscribing and becoming a channel member. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay strong. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The location of the mouse pointer is here. Did you find it?